Hello, everybody. Andrea Maeski here with Dental Al. So I did get a new computer. I apologize for the video quality. I can kind of tell it's a little bit sketchy right now, but I will be fixing that after this one. I just wanted to hop on quickly to talk about. So you have clicked this video because you want to know how much I spent last year in my mobile hygiene business. So I started my um, independent dental hygiene practice about a year and a couple months ago. So November 2018. And I was going through, you know, taxes, just sort of looking through my expenses. And it was shocking for sure. Um, but I am going to be completely transparent and talk to you guys about how much I did spend last year because I do get a lot of questions about is it is it worth it to have your own practice how much do you actually spend do you make any money at the end of the day so yes I am happy to say that I did make a profit but the first couple of years in business there are a lot of expenses but that's where a good accountant comes in because they can help you with credits to actually write off a portion of that um, I submit my taxes in April, I think. Um, for a small business owner, it's from like February to April. So I do submit that and then I will truly know for sure how much I did make taking into account all of the credits. But let's talk to you guys about kind of what I spent. Okay, so I just have my laptop here. So my biggest account would definitely be oralscience.com. So that is where I get pretty much all of my toothpaste, my mouthwashes, my toothbrushes, because they have the best ones out there. In fact, I would show you, but of course it's all the way over there. So I will do another video on that. But I literally bought something nearly every month. So just as an example. So in November, 2018, I spent $159. In May 2019, I spent $332. In June, $248. July, $454. August, $320. November, $584. So you get the idea, right? Having your own business doesn't mean you have a set of expenses one month and then you're good for the whole year. No, not at all. But where did the bigger expenses come in? So you might think that 400 bucks a month, 500 bucks a month is a lot. Well, guess what? I spent about $10,000 on my sterilizer that I have in my own lab downstairs to actually sterilize the instruments. I spent, let's see, why can't I think of the other big, tick, big ticket items? Oh yes, my compressor. So for the air, the water, the suction, that was about $6,000. The patient chair that you guys see behind you right there was about $425. But the sterilizer, the patient chair, the compressor unit, that is a one-time expense. But you do need all of that when you start your own your own business, right? You can't wait for six months, a year. You need those things right away. So that's where the bigger expenses come in. Things that you could wait on, I suppose, are toothpaste, mouthwashes, but if your patient needs them, your patient needs them. So that's why I did decide to get them right away. Um, I got a piezo ultrasonic scaler. I paid, I could have paid 4,000 for that, but I found one for 200. Um, but I would say the monthly expenses are things that you, you actually use up. So as I said, like toothpaste, mouthwashes, masks, gloves, going to another company that I use a lot, um, Maxil. I clicked on them. So I didn't spend a crazy amount with them because I did um, spend a lot with oral science, but just as an example, um, where am I here? In, in, okay, what, the dates are kind of weird because it's telling me I placed an order in February. Oh no, that was last year. Sorry guys. So last year in February, I paid $112. Um, and then in April, I paid about $62. I just ordered something, which is funny because it's not showing up, but I think I spent about $300. So let me kind of look into that for you. Um, but when I first started the business with Maxil, I had spent um, $1,200. So that was pretty much for everything to get me started. So masks, bibs, um, disinfecting wipes. Actually, I can look at my invoice right now. Um, I bought some instruments. I bought some, um, some mirrors. 
I bought some loot bags for like tooth, uh, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash. I bought some cassettes to um, place the instruments. I bought some things for my sterilizer, like all of the testing that you have to do, like all of those little um, paper str uh, strips, like the class five indicators. I bought a bunch of those. I bought the disinfecting like treatment kit for my compressor unit, um, just tons of things, right? Now, another one that I actually forgot to look up before is K-Dental, um, so kdental.ca. That's where I spend most of my money, I would say for sure. So I did say oral science. Another big one would definitely be K-Dental. So I'm gonna see if I can log in right now, just to kind of show you guys. So I'm doing this all on my laptop here, but this gives you an idea. When you have your own business, as I said, it's not just all of the expenses one month or two months, it's every single month you will be paying for something. So you have to make money to pay for that. Um, so as an example, last year in May, I spent about $573 at K-Dental. In um, August, I spent about $300. And then at the end of the year, I spent another $300. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video, so kind of part two, where I'm going to actually show you guys my invoices and I will list all of the products that I bought because if you're thinking about starting your own business, this will be helpful. So you kind of know, okay, well, what do I really need? What do I not need? What do I want to avoid to save money and certain things that you don't have to buy right away? So I hope this helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.